And we're back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94, Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. This is the last time you're going to see the ship, so say goodbye to it. As we leave World 3, the ship, and enter World 4, the jungle. Got a pretty good jungle-ish theme. Makes sense for the level name, of course. So, first things off, get the hat. Climb this faster, grab two at the same time. Yeah, you climb down faster if you're only grabbing one. We get a new thing we get to make. A spring! But we don't care much for springs, so we'll put it over there. And hopefully, I can use it to get there. My hand. You could take the key back the long way. Although, I'm not sure what the long way really would be. I got 90 lives and we're in stage 4 too. Okay, we got these plants that spit seeds. So you gotta climb these ropes to avoid the seeds that the flowers spit. And in the end you get here. Don't get crushed by the block. It wants to crush you. And get the key to the door. Simple enough. Epic fail, not yet. Okay, water that you don't want to go in. But we get these cool ass monkeys that you can grab their tail and they screech. You also use their tail as a rope. I want to kill fish. I miss fish. But, I finished the level. So I don't have to bother with that fish ever again. In the game. Donkey Kong Chase. And there's Donkey Kong Jr. Look at him, jumping around like an asshole. You gotta wait for him to pull that switch so the springs go down there. Then I like waiting over here. Like this. And then he pulls the switch, I can jump up here. And nearly avoid missing. I'm really going to get hit by the screen the spring because time freezes at that point. So Diana Jr. and Donkey Kong are both running. And what's this? A mushroom that doesn't make me bigger? Blasphemous. Yes, there are now shrinking mushrooms in the game. When you're shrunk, well, you can't pick anything up. You can't jump as high. Um, you can't do your handstand, you can't do many of your special moves, you're basically nerfed. And we got keys in this level. Anyone who has no keys are the enemies in Zelda that most people should refer to as bats, because that's what they are. 
Don't do that. If you're gonna go down that rope, do it from the other side. As I will attempt this time around. Doesn't matter matters because I have 99 lives again. Just for good measure. Kill that thing too. I don't like it. Actually, I think it's a good idea to kill it because your path to the ground is over here and over here, then down here, and then down. You will break your leg and everything. But you'll recover fast enough to get the key back. If you fall from up there, you will fall and break your head. Although you can't. I don't know if you can break your head when you're carrying something. I know enemies can't hurt you. This game doesn't really matter anymore, but I'm still playing it. I mean, the mini game, I mean, the main game, yeah, it still matters. It's nine worlds, I think. Okay! Yes, Saiyan, that was introduced in, our, in an earlier level that we didn't really care about. What you want to do is. Try to get across here by destroying the least amount of sand as possible. So, you can get back by destroying all the sand if you want. I don't do that though. I put this block here so I can appear. Now there's no possible way I can get up there without getting my ass handed to me. So I put a block there so they get to the next block and hopefully they'll stay over there. And, for good measure, why don't we just put a block here? Maybe they'll get lost in the other one. Either way, they're gonna have to travel farther back, farther to get me. Get key! If you didn't do that, I'd have to use the blocks to get the key, because I destroyed most of the sand. I didn't really care this time. No, you have Junior's here. What's he gonna do? Okay, get that one up. But be fast, because that thing's gonna try to run to you. Gotta go over here. No, that doesn't help either. And that really doesn't help. Now, as you see, this counter does not go past 99, and the most lives you would have at one point is 99. Since so now I have 98. There's one life, and you go back down, even though I had countlessly more than 99. Well, I got the life back, so it's okay. If you want this. If you want that stupid flower with ears to move, jump, but be careful, because it's going to come running at you. Now, I mean, Junior may pull over, he may not. It's up to him, mostly. Makes sense it's up to him. I mean, he's the annoying son slash grandson of the annoying monkey that's trying to kill you. Okay. Now when I'm up here, I gotta wait for K Jr. to pull the lever. Whee! Wait, there's a flower. Ah! Just remember there's a flower up here. But I killed him. Revenge! Yeah, Myron came back and looked through the door. The first time I think he's done this playthrough.
What up? Iron small mushrooms. Yeah, you can't quite combine the mushroom with the two. No one has that good of an arm. You gotta wait for the mushroom to wear off before you can go back to your confines of the princess. If that mushroom hit me, but I landed here, I would grow back immediately, so... If you beat the level, you grow back immediately. Some levels you can't, because you can't carry a key. When you go back immediately. And this is showing me that I can throw a hammer away and grab it after climbing a ladder. And these bonus lies mean nothing. See you next part to where we demolish the rest of the jungle. Bye for now.